Today I got up early, and as I rushed out the door to open the shutters, I jolted. A fire salamander was right there, walking straight towards me. I was both scared and in awe. When wild animals show up in my life, they always have a powerful message to deliver me. Fire salamander. What does fire mean to me? The fire element represents my creativity, my power, my intensity. It is that thing pushing me to stand up for myself. I know I've been trying to achieve more than I can do lately. And that's a warning. If I keep playing with fire, I'm gonna burn myself out. Time is an illusion indeed, but as far as I'm aware, I live in a world with 24 hours in a day, 7 days in a week, and today I want to find a way to stop being a slave to the ticking clock. I used to live in my car, in a swag, a shed, backpackers, flats and houses. And for the first time in all those years, I really want and need to optimize my shelter. So, let's go. <laughs> This stone wall is beautiful, I know, but it's blocking all the light in this very dark kitchen. It took a whole day to break the bar, another full one to clean the dust storm, and when we tried to remove tiles from the wall today, we had no other choice than actually tearing the whole wall out. Another night where I go to bed feeling frustrated because I didn't do enough. Another morning I struggle to control my racing heartbeat. You know, it's funny because it's always in those very busy, messy moments in life that you achieve so much and you don't ask yourself too many questions. And I like those moments, maybe just for one thing, <laughs> is that it pushes me to do all those things I've been postponing for months, like repotting my plants. <laughs> They've been laying in plastic for so long, poor little things. Oh. <laughs> that was silly. 
ladder right now. I'm sure you well know what it's like to feel overwhelmed because life forces you to be. Times when you hardly sleep, and feel preoccupied for most of your waking hours. I choose not to check my social media at the moment. If I do, I know I will feel inferior and diminished compared to all those people constantly showing, sharing their best moments. Why poisoning my anxious mind with such superficiality? Getting my hands dirty renovating the barn teaches me to make peace with my physical limitations. I'm no robot, not a machine, no superhuman. And being busy like a bee forces me to heal my relation with time. Accepting my life the way it is here and now. Knowing everything is impermanent, ephemeral and remembering this very chapter I'm writing now will give birth to a grand, brand new, different one. There is a time for everything. There are times to be, feel and explore your soul. Other times to act, do and check things off the list. Wherever I stand in the wheel of time, I choose to focus on doing my best every single day, and that's more than enough. It's been so intense. <laughs> it's been probably around two, three weeks that I didn't think about anything else than this kitchen. <laughs> Think you can tell it to my face. It was my first time working with pigments. Those were some mineral pigments and 
I already thought the result was going to be awesome. When I first painted, the colors were exactly the way I wanted them to be. But now that it's dry, all the colors turned pinkish. <laughs> I love the fading effect, but the colors are definitely not what I like, especially not for a kitchen. I don't know what happened. I suppose that the pigments were probably poor quality. Um, or maybe there's been some sort of a chemical reaction with the paint I used, even though it was a very natural white clay paint. There is still some work to be done and redone, but I'm so happy about this new kitchen. It's so important to live in an environment in which you feel good and inspired. I realized it for the first time in my life. I never really cared about my physical, material environment. But now that I create myself the nest I always dreamt about, I can't tell you enough how good this feels. <sighs> Sometimes an image is worth a thousand words.